science is an incredible topic. Each year the world's best minds come together to help us better understand the world around us. We are entering a new age, one where innovative ideas and technology will launch us into a new frontier, one that relies heavily on these advancements. Scientists and researchers recently came forward in detail with their latest creation. Back in 2021, British company Oxitec revealed that they released 750 million genetically modified mosquitoes in Florida. At the time, scientists who were involved said that there's definitely advantages with modifying mosquitoes. For example, they're said to reduce the spread of infections, and that these new mosquitoes will mate with existing wild mosquitoes, and because their genetic makeup is different, it means that their offspring won't survive, and that wild populations that are considered a pest will decrease dramatically. But others who read the story also noted that these Frankenstein creatures may pose an undetectable threat to not only humans, but also Mother Nature, saying that they may develop new unknown pathogens that could be harmful to humans. On May 1st, the US Environmental Protection Agency granted an experimental use permit to Oxycon, the company behind mosquitoes to release them into the wild. While officials have said that this is fine and that they won't have an effect on people, residents close to the release area aren't sure how to feel about this, with many saying that these genetically modified mosquitoes could damage the ecosystem, and may actually create a super durable hybrid mosquito that is resilient to insect repellent. According to Oxitec's website, the company has said that when first releasing these mosquitoes in Brazil, they received positive results. The company has also said that the government has signed off plans which will allow them to release these mosquitoes in Texas. Now the company has announced that it's planning on releasing another 2 billion mosquitoes, and that they plan to do this across Florida and California. This new species has been called OX5034, and the researchers have said that the idea is that these new lab-created mosquitoes have a self-limiting gene, and further noted that they're all male. The two billion mosquitoes that will be released into the world will make carrying on their genes difficult, with the researchers saying that they know it's only female mosquitoes that bite humans because they rely on blood to produce eggs. So the idea behind the release is that these modified males will produce with the wild females, the males who are genetically modified will carry a protein that will stop the female offspring before they reach a mature age. Oxitec, which is the company behind the study, has said it's reaching out to state regulators, in the hopes that they can run more of these programs and release billions more of these mosquitoes into the wild. Oxitec has been vocal about this program, and has said that these mosquitoes will not have an impact on the environment, and that their lab-created genes will not spread throughout the area. They've said that their tech will stop genes from entering the ecosystem. Oxitec also pointed out that these genetically modified mosquitoes are safe, and that people shouldn't worry, noting that their studies have shown that they only target their own species. The company has said that the results have been promising, and that they're reaching out to officials in order to lab create more insects to release into the wild, with them saying that they hope this can be a continuous program. Not everyone was happy about this though. At the time of the first announcement, local residents around Florida Keys voiced their concerns about the release of these mosquitoes, with 237,000 people signing a change.org petition. The petition said the following. Right now, a British company named Oxitec is planning to release genetically modified mosquitoes into the fragile environment of the Florida Keys in Texas. The company wants to use Florida Keys in Texas as a testing ground for these mutant bugs. Even though the local community in the Florida Keys have spoken, we've even passed an ordinance demanding more testing. First, Oxitec is trying to use a loophole by applying to the FDA for an animal bug patent. Now the hot potato has been passed to the EPA, and Oxitec is at it again. 
This profit-driven biotech company wants to release more than 50 million genetically modified mosquitoes per week into Florida, and also Texas. These GMI mosquitoes could pose major risks to fragile environments like the Florida Keys in Texas, and may pose risks to public health and safety. Once again, Oxitec wants to treat people like human experiments, even though the EPA doesn't have enough information about the environmental, health and even indirect economic impacts of these insects, it might give Oxitec the green light. Over the past several years, we've all raised our voices to help stop what would have been the first release of millions of GMO mosquitoes into the US. Now we need to stop this non-consensual experiment again. Tell the EPA to not approve the GMO mosquitoes. We do not consent to being a human experiment and we do not want GMO mosquitoes. Over 30 local physicians have created a petition to ask for more evaluation of the risk of the GMO mosquito and the possible development of antibiotic resistant risks. These GMO mosquitoes are created with E. coli bacteria and other ingredients. This is very premature technology with very little information. A lot of questions need to be answered. The CDC notes that Oxitec trials are not set up to test for disease reduction. If the experiments go forward, there would still be enough non-GMO mosquitoes in the environment, including in people's homes and backyards to spread diseases. Even the head of the Cayman Islands, which recently rejected GMO mosquitoes, has said that GMO mosquitoes will not be a solution for fevers that pose a risk to human life. End quote. So what do you guys make of this experiment? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.